Our planet is dying. The desert grows with every passing year. The world is at war. But there is hope. An object has been detected deep within the Great Banded Desert. It has been called the Jiraki object, the primary anomaly. We believe it may hold the key to our salvation. An expedition to retrieve it is being prepared. through this channel. Pull up. Before departure, we need to run essential tests on our key capabilities. Vehicle production, resource salvaging, and combat operations. Time is of the essence, so let's run through these quickly. Fleet operations, is your channel clear? Affirmative. I will be providing all non-critical updates on unit production, research, resource salvaging, and all carrier systems through this channel. Copy that. Stand by to initiate production test. 
first, deploy a salvager from the command carrier Capisi. Salvager online. Stand by to commence resource test. Order the salvager to gather nearby resources located here. Construction units identified. Rachel, the Capisi support cruiser has suffered a mechanical failure and requires immediate repairs before departure. Use your base runner to repair the support cruiser located here. Depleted. That unit is down. Get it back up and running. Initiating repairs. Repairs completed. Good work, Rachel. Stand by for combat test. In order to produce combat vehicles, we will need to invest time and resources in upgrading our tech. The first step is to upgrade the Capisi's advanced manufacturing facilities. Once that is done, we will be able to build light attack vehicles. Go for carrier. Research completed. Light attack vehicle fabrication now online. Produce three light attack vehicles from the Capisi. Light attack vehicle in service. Strike craft ready. Light attack vehicle online. Light attack vehicles ready. Target drones are now ready for weapons testing. Use the light attack vehicles to target and destroy the drones located here. Copy. Target set.
This is your captain. Today we embark on a historic mission to find and retrieve the Draki object. Lying at the heart of the Great Banded Desert, deep inside Galcian territory. We believe it holds the key to our survival on this planet. The journey will be perilous. But if successful, we will change the course of history forever and secure our future for generations to come. Personal Log, Science Officer Rachel Sajet, Expedition Carrier Capisi. We've launched three months ahead of schedule and just in time. The Gaussian threat was far greater than we had anticipated. As the lead scientist on this expedition, I'm more convinced than ever that my brother was right, that what lies out there amongst the dunes holds the key to our survival on this planet and possibly beyond. We have no choice now but to believe. We have successfully entered the open desert and are safe, for now. Before leaving, we received this Gaussian transmission. Attention, Kithid of the North. I am Kagan of the Kith Gaussian, servant of the mighty Kahad Sajuk. For generations, you have violated the first commandment of our Creator by entering into space. You seek the stars. Now you invade our lands for the second time. Diplomacy has failed. We can tolerate this no longer. The suffering of this war will be nothing compared to the wrath of Sajuk. Long live the people of Karak. We are now behind enemy lines. A Sajet lander carrying with it our sensors manager will rendezvous with us at the Boneyard, a salvage facility to the east. At the Boneyard, we will install the Sensors Manager, gather additional resources and expedition vehicles before moving out and proceeding to our designated target. The fate of the expedition, and possibly the North itself, now rests on us. Boneyard Control, this is the Capisi. Request immediate clearance to dock. Copy, Capisi. We've been waiting for your arrival. You're cleared to dock. Crews are standing by. Boneyard Epsilon Lander 607 is wheeled down and prepping cargo for unload. Roger that. Lowering module. Contact. Releasing clamp. Sensors manager, coming online. The Capisi's desert refit is underway. While that happens, we need to gather as many resources as possible and reactivate retired units to bolster our fleet. Intelligence indicates Galcian forces are inbound on our location. We don't have long before they arrive. See you. Rachel, you and the support cruiser need to reactivate the decommissioned units using your repair beams. Copy that, Intel. Get that unit back online. Move. The storm to the south is growing in intensity and has turned our way. Back up and running. We just received a transmission from Northern Command. They have confirmed that multiple coalition bases have fallen, including Delta, Juno, and Alpha. Here is under siege. It appears a Sedim carrier, the Sakala, also managed to escape. We are to rendezvous with her and continue on with the expedition at all costs. Additional groups of contacts detected and closing in. Perimeter turrets engaging enemy units. Keep those Gaussian forces away from the Capisi and continue to gather resources and units until departure. Be advised. 
Class 5 sandstorm detected on approach. Support ready. Repair their critical systems first. Receiving. Move order confirmed. Armor, go ahead. Armor is en route. Alert, sensor post lost. The Gaussian attacks will continue. We require additional forces. We do not have a sufficient number of LAVs. Collect more CUs and build more LAVs immediately. Cruiser reading. Green light to proceed. Move. Inbound friendly contacts detected. Possible survivors from Epsilon or nearby bases. In service. I hope they make it. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Light attack vehicle online. Armored vehicle is taking fire. Allied armor assault vehicles entering your area. Taking hits. We need immediate assistance. Be advised. Allied armored assault vehicles are deploying smoke screens to break enemy line of sight. Attack vehicle in service. Warning. Storm front arrival in approximately seven minutes. Strike craft ready. Gaussian heavy railgun spotted. It will have difficulty targeting our units at short range. Our LAV's inherent speed and quick boost ability will allow them to close on enemy units quickly. Use this to gain the advantage. We are clear. Transferring to your control. Allied units acquired. The more we save, the stronger we'll be as we enter the desert. A second flight of friendly interceptors is passing through. Keep your crosshairs low. Fire. We need to improve unit combat performance. Access engineering to select upgrades. New upgrade options to improve our light attack vehicles are currently available. Green recommend improving unit survivability by investing in engineering upgrades. Hit them with a heavy burst! Ready. Hostile fire. strike craft down. Return fire. down. Reading for order. Coordinates confirmed. Reading. Both. That sandstorm is closing on us fast. Five minutes until storm front impact. Vehicle is under fire. Enemy railgun firing on friendly. Reading. Go to Jet Salvage Depot. Allied Light Patrol Group. We are inbound in your location. Galcian sand skimmers in pursuit. Request immediate support. Order the Allied Light Attack Vehicles to use their quick boost ability to escape the pursuing Galcian. Ready! Overdrive, punch it! Stormfront arrival in approximately three minutes. We're running out of time. Ready. Strike Boneyard, Capisi. Allied Armor Group on approach. We're under fire and need immediate support. Hostile railguns have opened up. Two minutes until that storm hits. Boneyard staff transferring aboard. Armored vehicle is taking fire. Reading! Unit secured. Punch it! Target! Readjust! Contact on the board. White Capisi is ready for immediate egress. Ground units, eliminate remaining Gaussian forces and prepare for departure. Stormfront arrival in one minute. All crews, prepare the Capisi to move out. Hostile light attack vehicle detected. Hostiles designated. Trackers assigned. Armored copies. Target to front. Move out! Armored vehicle has been destroyed. Ahead. Move out and be ready. Proximity warning in effect. Hostiles designated. Focus the repair on primary... Hostile railgun opened up. Armored vehicle is taking fire. Taking fire! Let him have it! Hostile range craft destroyed. See it. Strike craft taking effective. All Gaussian forces have been eliminated. Stormfront arrival imminent. Alright. Bring engines to full and move out. Wind speed in excess of 300 kilometers per hour. Copy that. Engaging full shutters. 
Expect impact on my mark. In three, two, one, mark. Personal log. Intelligence officer Nathan Sajet. Expedition carrier Capisi. Our refit is mostly complete, and we're now headed for open desert. Several coalition units were able to link up with us and have joined our ranks. To the north, Gaussian forces are laying siege to our homes. There's no going back. The expedition must carry on. It's hard to believe it's been four years since our satellites detected the Jiraki object. That massive anomaly deep in the uncharted desert, its energy readings rivaling our planet's sun. Rachel thinks it could be the source of the new Gaussian technology. Only time will tell. Initial satellite data identified the location of the primary anomaly, along with dozens of secondary targets. We will take a northern route, skirting the Baladin Formation. Doing this, we will avoid Gaussian territory and the worst of the deep desert heat. We will then cut south to the primary anomaly, the main goal of our expedition. As Chief Science Officer, Rachel Sajet will sample, analyze, and provide intelligence on these objects as we move deeper into the desert. The carrier Sakala has confirmed they are moving east with significant force and are expected to meet us at these coordinates. East of Cape Wrath, a place known as Hell's Gate.
These destroyed units are coalition vehicles. Weathering indicates they've been exposed to the desert for years. Intel, be advised. The beacon signal is getting stronger. We must be getting closer. I've managed to get a bead on the transponder beacon and have narrowed its location to this area. There's still no way to know if it's the Sakala. Rachel, form up with an escort and search for the source of the Coalition signal. Proceed with caution. Copy that intel. We'll prep our equipment as we go. PC reading. Reading you. We're clear to move. Armor copies. We're up and running. Awaiting orders. We're moving out. Spool up. Armored Assault Vehicle Fabrication Online. Begin constructing armored assault vehicles as soon as possible. Base. System is ready. Secure. Intel, I've located the source of the signal. It's an abandoned coalition carrier. It's been here for a while. My team and I are heading inside. Delay salvage operations until we complete a search of the vessel. Copy that. Rachel's team has begun to investigate the derelict carrier. We're exposed as long as we hold position here. A defensive perimeter must be established in order to protect Rachel and her team. Dunes are blocking the carrier's access to the derelict. Understood. Smaller craft, you are clear to approach the derelict. Carrier contact. Location mark. We're going to get live scan reports back. Be ready to adjust. Intel, I found an ID number inside the ship. Sierra, Charlie, 7208. Copy. Copy. Running it through the computer. Stand by. Rachel. You're aboard the Sajet carrier Ifrit Naval. Part of the Coalition's lost expedition. Prep. This, this is my brother's ship. We've detected. Oh my God. Can you confirm visual? The armored vehicle is taking fire. Continuing search, Intel. We'll keep you advised. Looks under fire. Copy. Allied traps have been engaged. Provide fire support. Strike craft destroyed. Fire. Roger. They're cleared by arms. The Galcian are using hit and run tactics. Focusing on their lighter units should cause their slower, heavier units to retreat. Hostile range craft destroyed. Enemy railgun firing on friendly. Fast attack pattern, full speed. Red Alert. A group of sand skimmers is targeting the Capisi's position. Shunt power to armor and repairs. Send units to support the Capisi. Right craft down. Receiving! The Galstein has been here already. There's extensive interior damage. In guard position. I'm detecting a unique signature coming from inside one of the bulkheads. This may be what the Galstein were searching for. Beginning bulkhead deconstruction. Authentication pending. Rachel, more Galsian reinforcements are inbound. Return to the Capisi immediately. Negative intel. We found a piece of unidentified technology grafted into the carrier's sensor array. Keep us covered while we extract this artifact from the bulkhead. Oh, roger that. We'll deploy additional units to cover you. You need to hurry. Understood. Give us five minutes. That should be enough time. This is the captain. 
Gaussian ranged units engaging the Capici. Warning, Warning. Range shunt power to the weapon range and damage systems to hold them off. Fire support. Hostile range craft destroyed. Weapon systems weapon on range systems currently active. Armor Enemy railgun firing on friendly. Go for armor. Railgun targeted. Intel, science update. This artifact is composed of the same materials as the orbital fragments recovered 45 years ago, but this, this is no fragment. Until this moment, we have never seen this technology fully intact and functional. We need to secure it immediately. Copy that, Rachel. Online. All batteries. Hostile Online. craft in AO. Maneuver for Three. visual confirmation. Copy. Engaging railgun. The Ifrit and Abal's crew had it jury-rigged into their sensor array. Firm visual. Okay. I know what they're doing. I think I can merge it with our systems and greatly enhance our sensor capabilities. Strike craft destroyed. Rachel, what's your status? Intel, I figured out the wiring. Should speed us up considerably. Roger that. We read you. Hostile, close the distance. Alert, Armor. LAB down. Contact Intel, we're almost there. Stand by for our extraction. Rachel, more Galcian are bound to show up. You need to hurry. Copy that. Hostile strike craft down. Intel, we're ready to move out. Rachel, your team cannot be extracted safely until the Galcian has been subdued. Hold your position. Strike craft destroyed. now operational, we've detected a hostile cruiser supporting the enemy offensive. Engage and destroy the enemy cruiser. Holding. Resources are scattered throughout the area. To collect them efficiently, we need support cruisers deployed alongside our salvagers. Capici fabrication facilities can now be upgraded to produce support cruisers. Cruiser ready. Green light to proceed. Move. Salvage. Stop talking about recon, guys. Rachel, Galcian units seem to be using some kind of shared network to communicate with each other. We might be able to use that to our advantage if I can find a way to hack in. I'll have to analyze their system architecture. Could take a few days. Cruiser reading. Roger that. The armor to stay easy, go ahead. Rachel, we've located abandoned coalition railguns, part of the Ifrit Nabal's fleet. They're damaged, but recoverable. Roger that. We can use our support cruiser's repair beam to bring them back online. Array ready. To produce more railguns, upgrade the Capici's fabrication facilities. Support cruiser fabrication online. Begin constructing support cruisers. Made a new sector. Railgun fabrication online. Begin constructing railguns and use them against Gaussian armored units. CU field depleted. Galcian ranged forces are protecting the cruiser from an elevated vantage point, increasing their effectiveness. Let's move. Destroying them before assaulting the cruiser should tip the engagement in our favor. Tracking armored craft on approach. Got eyes on us down.
The Galcian have located us. We have no choice. We need to keep moving deeper into the open desert. Set course for the Serathi Basin. Once we arrive, we'll transmit the Sakala our coordinates. Engine crews, stand by to engage maximum power. Personal log, science officer Rachel Sajet, expedition carrier Capisi. We found my brother's ship, the Afrit Nabal, the flagship of our coalition's lost expedition from four years ago. His fate and that of its crew remains unknown. What happened, Jacob? What did you find out here? What have they done to you? The shipwreck was a coalition carrier, last seen four years ago. The wreck has been ransacked by Galcian troops looking for something. We believe it was the recovered artifact. We have also recovered the encrypted first officer's log from the derelict carrier. It belonged to my brother. The data is spotty, but this is what we have deciphered. This is first officer Jacob Sajet of the carrier Ifrit Nabal. 1,256 souls aboard. We've been immobilized by doom collapse. There are considerably more artifacts at the Kalash location. This is the first officer of the carrier, Ifrit Nabal, signing off. The Kalash coordinates correspond to this location from the satellite data of four years ago. We will alter course, following the route of our coalition's first expedition. At the Kalash location, we will accelerate resourcing and artifact recovery operations. Course locked in. general vicinity where the Ifrit Nabal recovered the artifact. Spread out and search the area. Still nothing. Adjusting onboard scanners. Board's green. Reposition. It's got to be around here. The signal we picked up was significant. Intel, we found something. Um, are you guys seeing this? Affirmative. Commencing scan. What are we dealing with? Stand by. Checking the data now. It's some kind of ship. I'm beginning analysis of the main superstructure. Readings show considerable heavy metal deposits. This is definitely the clash site that Jacob was talking about. Data confirms the Afrit Nabal artifact was indeed removed from this location. I'm also detecting wreckage strewn across the valley below. I'll need to set up additional scanners to get a clearer picture of exactly what happened here. My preliminary scans are incomplete. I need to place a scanner at this location to get more data. Location marked. Deploy scanner. Scanner deployed. Commencing surface scan now. 
Right. The technology contained here is far more extensive than anything we have gathered to date. It will advance our existing research programs exponentially. The resources that are visible now can be salvaged, but there are considerably more within the wreck itself. In order to extract them, we need to establish a broader scanner network so I can develop a complete shipbreaking plan. Could have been I'm sending the details to the Capici's engineering team. Go for Scan complete. I'll need some time to fully analyze this data. We need to explore the valley below to identify additional wreckage from the collage. Deploy and secure scanners at each wreckage site located. Alert. The storm is producing tornadoes on low-lying areas. Avoid the tornadoes. The sand and debris they spin up chews through light armor. Searching for additional wreckage in the valley ahead could be difficult. What do you mean? If we upgrade our fabrication facilities to produce base runners, they'll help us in our search. Fine. RUs identified. Advance and evaluate. Deploy a probe from one of our base runners to help in the search for wreck sites. Probes will allow us to quickly explore new areas and search for hostile forces. Reading you. Prep for mobilization. Base runner in service. Reading you. Must be secured. Recommend deploying turrets from base runners to do so. Deploy a turret on that location. The Galsine are attempting to destroy our scanner network. We require rapid response aircraft to counter Galsine attacks. Invest in the Capici's hangar facilities to begin producing strike fighters. Additional wreckage site located. Roger. Good work. Set up a scanner and secure the site. Alert. Sir. There is still one more wreck site. Continue your search. Live scanning teams. Establish defensive turrets on those scanner locations ASAP. Be down. Somebody lost under that ground strike. Alert. Report taking hostile fire. Report. Off ready. Combat alert. Support craft down. On Armor Going vehicle taking fire. effective fire. Go ahead. Hostile strike craft down.
Support ready. Hostile light attack vehicle detected. Host I've commenced the scan. Authentication Hostile. pending. Approach. The data we've already collected is amazing. Scan at 80%, just a little longer. Hostile armor eliminated. Op ready. Eyes on the horizon. Move. Reading. Lock us down for long range travel. Reporting. We've got hostile on sensors. Confirm visual. That's it. Scan complete. We've got it. Support ready. Green line confirmed. Hostile range craft destroyed. Enemy armor disabled. Make ready. This we got a railgun under fire. This scan is unusual. I've never seen anything like it. I need to start breaking down the data immediately. Understood. Great job out there. Thanks. We have successfully completed our scan of the Kalash rack, but it may only be a matter of time before the Gaussian carriers vector onto our position. Intel, I fed the scan data into the computers and added my spectrum and IR reading. I'm heading back to the KPC now. Copy that. We're all eager to hear the results of your analysis. I bet. You're gonna like this. Personal log, Captain Roman Sajet, Expedition Carrier Capisi. These sandstorms are taking a toll on the old girl, but she's a hell of a ship. We're managing well, considering the haste with which we launched. Our lead science officer, Rachel, is analyzing the artifact we found. She's eager to take risks, which I wouldn't have wagered on after our first meeting. She's also driven as hell. She's giving the intelligence officer fits. My respect for her grows daily. As for the Gaussian, their hover technology makes them faster and more maneuverable than our units. They're better equipped for desert conditions too, which is no surprise. But their hit and run tactics, which I've seen before, always leads to something much larger and more dangerous. It's only a matter of time before we are truly tested. For the first time in as long as any of us can remember, we are finally able to shed some light on the history of our planet and conceivably our origins as a people. What we have found here is nothing short of miraculous. An ancient starship lost to the desert for a thousand years. The structural damage it sustained, the compression patterns, the debris footprint, all of it is consistent with atmospheric penetration followed by ground impact. But why did it crash here? What happened? Many questions remain unanswered. We know that the satellite data we collected identified hundreds of similar sites scattered throughout the Great Banded Desert. Each one of these could be a wreck just like the clash. It is safe to assume the Gaussian have been exploiting these resources for years. Now it's our turn. Composed of exotic materials and compounds not native to our planet, each represents a potential treasure trove of untapped resources and alien technology we can leverage in our fight against the Gaussian.
and which may well hold the key to our survival on Karak. All crews, prepare to shipbreak. charges. I'll need to place the charges on the wreck and detonate them once I'm clear of the blast zone. Rachel. Understood. Reading you command. Armor confirms. System is ready. Secure us for move. Send orders. We got an assignment. Awaiting orders. individually or as a group. Acknowledged. We're clear to proceed. Confirmed. Prep for displacement. What do you need? Secure PDA for move? Acknowledged. Okay, time to roll. successfully. The Capisi is already registering a massive increase in available power. All systems go. Capisi power levels are surging. Nice find, Rachel. Weapon range. Attention, fleet. The artifact manifest is now available to review the latest science analysis and data. We must push out into the valley and salvage the remaining wreck sites before we run out of time. Back for a Understood. Gaussian contacts detected near wreck locations in the valley. Ensure salvage teams are well defended. Understood. Salvage teams form up and await orders. Base runner assembled. I've updated the salvagers with the demolition charge schematic. They'll require CUs to produce new charges. Operations update. Understood. In the region have been drained. Intel, be advised. Hacking Galcian units is now available. By accessing their shared network, I can commandeer their vehicles. If you can get them aboard the Capisi, our engineers can reconfigure their control systems. Once that's done, we can allocate them to our fleet. Sounds like a plan. Right. Proceed to Attempt to commandeer one of their units to confirm the system is operational. 
Light attack. One of our salvage teams is approaching a wreck in the valley. Updates to follow. Enemy Intel, we found an artifact at this location. Looks promising. Great work. Continue salvaging. That didn't take long. Galsian forces are responding to our salvage operations. Galsian strike group confirmed on sensors. Redirect offensive forces to our salvage crew's position. Galsian air units are probing our position. Anti-air turrets now available for construction. Anti-air turret templates loaded into the base runners. Destroyed. The main assault force will arrive soon. Runner. Hack payload on target. Strike craft destroyed. Artifact recovered. Authentication confirmed. Armored vehicle is taking fire. This is Rachel, go ahead. Hostile railguns have opened up.
five. The Galcian commander Kagan has cornered us. In the AO. Hot. We are heavily outnumbered. They will mount their assaults from all sides. We must stand our ground. Rule detected. All personnel, man your battle stations. Armored craft on approach. Get us moving. Support ready. Go ahead. Picking up sensor contacts all around us. We must pull back to the Capici. Confirmed. Get back to the Capici immediately. Galcine units approaching. This is going to be close. All available forces are to protect salvage crews and the Capici. All other concerns are secondary. Integrity. We've detected something. Can you confirm visual? Salvage strike craft destroyed. This place is that hostile range craft destroyed. Be advised, the Gaussian have deployed a new variant of their armored combat unit. Huh? It appears to have replaced its standard armament with a missile battery. This will allow it to function as both ground fire support and mobile AA. The turret is under fire. Attention. Strike fighter approach vector dialed. CUs exhausted. Green line confirmed. Engine hot. Alert. The turret post just went down. Approach vector dialed in. Alert. Carrier is taking fire. Research completed. Ready. Sedim reinforcements have arrived. I say again, Sedim reinforcements have arrived. All units, hold fast and maintain position. Personal Log, Operations Officer Clea Soban, Expedition Carrier Capisi. How many days have we been out here? Feels like weeks already. We've re-established communication with the North. Reports from Tyr are encouraging. Pockets of resistance have sprung up and are holding Galzian forces at bay. But for how long? Here, crew morale remains high despite the constant engagement with Galzian forces. I can't say enough about the men and women who've signed on, risking their lives for this expedition. Our goal feels almost impossible at times, but there is hope and a will to succeed against all odds. For now, that will have to do.
The Ashoka is damaged and on the run. Yet despite the artifacts we've recovered and the upgrades we've made to the Capisi, we are still no match for her speed. Having relocated to a wide debris field deep within the Baladin Dune Sea, the Ashoka appears to be conducting much needed resource operations. The Sakala will maneuver to the north and draw the Ashoka away. The Capisi will then strike directly at the enemy resourcing operations. Once we have wiped out their ground forces, we'll move to eliminate the Ashoka, clearing a path to the site of the primary anomaly. The Sedim have transferred us two bombers to assist in the operation. All units, prepare for battle. resourcing operations. Gaussian production cruisers marked at these positions, likely supporting salvage crews. A security patrol is moving between the three cruiser locations. Destroy all production cruisers and eliminate that patrol. Alert! The Capisi is taking fire! Alert! Carrier. 
site has been exhausted of resources. Full power. The final production cruiser group destroyed. Intel, I've managed to clean up the Sakala transmission. It's not perfect, but it's the best it's gonna get. Kapisi, we've engaged the Ashoka, but they have broken away and are approaching your location. Prepare to take evasive action. Do you copy? We are in pursuit. PC reading. Good work, Rachel. All stations, prepare to engage the Ashoka. Be advised. Hostile carrier visually authenticated. Enemy light attack vehicle marked on. Enemy carrier detected. Moving fast on our location. The Ashoka has arrived. All carrier personnel to battle stations. is heading towards a nearby resource deposit and is at full combat strength. Prepare defenses. Contact. Enemy armor. Ten. Bearing designated. New heading set. Sound carrier alert. All Hostile strike craft down. along their projected course to destroy them before they land on the Ashoka. If allowed to rendezvous with the Ashoka, the air units would greatly increase her air strength. We have modified our anti-aircraft missile systems from the AA turret to be compatible with the assault unit chassis. This will provide us with a mobile anti-air platform. Gated. Solver. The missile battery is effective against both ground and air targets. However, it can only fire while stationary. Upgrade fabrication facilities and begin producing missile batteries to counter them. Salvage your car. Gaussian Interceptor Group ETA, seven minutes. Copy. Coordinate set. Completely copy. This is the cap. Enemy aircraft will enter the combat zone in approximately five minutes. Well then. Strike system. Build and deploy AA turrets or missile batteries to intercept the Gaussian aircraft. Set the launch. Missile battery online. We got something on the horizon. Waiting for eyes on to authenticate. Them before they land on the Ashoka. Reporting. We're moving. Interceptor Group, ETA, 30 seconds. Ready. Additional Gaussian Attack Group is inbound on the Capisi. Prepare to engage. Set a scanner right there. Runner copies. Op ready. Gaussian aircraft on approach. Alert. Hostile strike fighter in circulation. We got something on the horizon. Waiting for eyes on to authenticate. Hostile interceptor down. Hostile light attack vehicle, visually authenticated. Tracking armored craft on approach. Alert! Alert. The Carrier is taking fire. Countermeasures active performance on Incoming Gaussian interceptor group destroyed. Carrier hull passing 75%. 
buildup within the Ashoka. What the hell was that? An electromagnetic pulse. Multiple units disabled. Estimate time to recovery. Several minutes. Until then, they're defenseless. The Ashoka is heading for more resources and deploying additional defensive units. Initiate evasive maneuvers and continue to engage the Ashoka until the EMP disabled units come back online. Enemy railgun firing on friendly. on Karak, so long as your kithid pursue a path to the stars. Personal log, science officer Rachel Sajet, expedition carrier Capisi. Jacob, you're on to something, big brother. The tech the Galsian have recovered from these wrecks the tech we have found ourselves is rewriting the book on science and engineering as we know it. Already we are seeing the benefits. You can imagine how excited I am. I only wish you were here to share in this. If we survive long enough to get to the Jiraki object, there's no telling what we'll find. If. I hate that word. We recovered artifact technology from the wreck of the Ashoka and have run it through our diagnostics. The advanced cooling system the Galsian have been using to endure the deep desert heat is unlike anything Coalition scientists have been able to develop. I found a way to merge their tech with our existing thermal control assembly, allowing us to shunt additional power to weapons and armor while simultaneously increasing our repair abilities and targeting range. We also uncovered the existence of a Gaussian military base at the edge of the Dune Sea. Adjacent to the base is a resourcing operation. Similar to the plan of attack we used against the Ashoka, the Sakala will engage the enemy first, then pull back, drawing as many defenders away as possible. The Capisi will then move in and shut down their resourcing operation before turning her attention to the base itself. Technology has been adapted to my base runner as a ranged device. Capisi. Any target caught in the impact zone will be completely disabled, though recharge time is a concern. Our strategy is working. The Sakala confirms they've drawn away much of the outpost's defenses. We need to work quickly to secure the area. Use. Identified RU site on scanner. Conducting sweep. Ready. Copy. Coordinate set. Patrol guarding the Gaussian resourcing operation has been alerted to our presence. Armor vehicle taking sensors indicate this force is heavily armed against both air and ground engagement. EMP charged and ready to go. Time for a field test. Wipe them out. 
A Gelsian salvager group is falling back to the main complex. Enemy production cruiser destroyed. Port ready. We've got a salvager under fire. Punch it! control towers. Targeting the control towers with an EMP burst should temporarily disable the turrets. See you, Fuel. Use Rachel's EMP on turret control towers. Are you coordinates acquired? Moving the site. This is the Artifact end. recovered. Authentication confirmed. Everything set. has been exhausted of resources. Enemy railgun firing on friendly. Lay down mines. Move. Ready. Going mobile. Alert. Missile battery destroyed. Enemy light. 
Allied attack vehicle marked on approach. Enemy armor on approach. Send message. Strike craft taking effective fire. We need a turret set in place. Strike craft destroyed. A railgun is taking effective fire. Runner. Alert, Gal. LAV down. down. Get that mine out of the set. Get us moving. Hostile range craft destroyed. Counter! Now! Roger! They're clear by our... Play down mines. Move. Runner, go ahead. Close range! Move back! Alert! Light attack vehicle destroyed. Armor in sight. Targeting. Unload. The Galaxy has exposed their fuel source, and it's off the charts. It's only a matter of time before it blows. Rachel, you and your team need to evacuate. Now! With the amount of data they've collected, they may know what the primary anomaly is. Support ready. Rachel, it's not worth it. Get your team out of there. I can do this. Just be ready for me when I'm done. We blocked down a prime area. Lay some mines. Maybe they'll walk right. Good Do you copy? We copy, Sakala. Go ahead. The Galaxy fleet. We lost transmission, Captain. The Galcian forces have split into two groups and are advancing towards the main complex perimeter. They are forming a blockade around the facility to prevent our escape from the blast. Clear a path through the blockade for Rachel to escape. The captured Honor Guard cruiser is equipped with a manually targeted railgun. Use it to break the blockade. Honor Guard, reporting. Mind detail, go. Reading you, command. Ready. Set up mines. Get on it. Hostile armor and gun. Ready. Hostile light attack vehicle detected. Enemy production cruiser sighted. Engage and destroy. Layer the mines. Let's go. Hostile strike craft down. Hostile armor eliminated. Light attack vehicle is under fire. Zero in on him. High rate of fire. Copy. Nice Combat complete. relay. Hostile production cruiser eliminated. We got something on the horizon. Waiting for eyes on to authenticate. One of our turrets is taking fire. Hostile railguns have opened up. Hostile designated. Runner. Mark Baron. Alert. Oh, Turn post destroyed. Send message. Move order confirmed. Personal log. Intelligence officer Nathan Sajet. Expedition carrier Kupisi. The Galcian. Ghosts of the desert. 
we learn more about our enemy with each passing day. Rachel says they believe in a terrible place where their god, Sajuk, placed his people as punishment for their sins. They refer to it as Kartoba, or First City. They believe their spiritual and military leader, the Kahad Sajuk, will become the instrument of God's will and ascend to rule over all of Karak once he enters the temple of Kartoba. Is there a kernel of truth hidden amongst these myths? And if so, what is it? As much a temple as a military installation, the Galcian base was filled with bizarre religious imagery and ancient inscriptions. We also found this recording. Noble and kind people of the desert, the north is suffering. Even now, as their cities thirst for water and their citizens choke on the encroaching desert sands, we seek only peace. Their ascent into space was a violation of the will of Sajuk. Unchecked, they will bring his wrath down upon us all. War has been forced upon us. The North will know us now, no longer as brothers. But by counting the number of their dead, may there be peace on Karak once again. We can expect fiercer resistance ahead. Regardless, we keep moving forward, cutting through the Garaki Highlands here. It's rough terrain. The dangers are many. On the other side lies a heat-ravaged wasteland the Gaussian call Digren, or the Dreamlands. Just beyond lies our ultimate goal. significantly elevated power signatures somewhere in the area. If we can find that power source and integrate it into the Capizi, it will significantly increase our energy levels in all systems. The walls of the canyon are distorting my scans. We need to send out salvage teams to find that power source. Agreed. This could be the most powerful artifact we've discovered so far. Salvage teams form up. 
Artifact found. In. Secure it. Excellent work. Send reinforcements to escort the salvage team. I wish we had more time to investigate this location. The archaeological data alone would keep our scientists busy for years. Salvager. I would give anything to meet the people who engineer this technology. Going mobile. Reading. Enemy armor on. These hulls are perfectly intact. Not, not even a touch of atmospheric scarring on them. Salvaging teams, be aware. Gaussian forces are attempting to extract artifacts from the wrecks at this location. Base runner is en route. The Gaussian are positioning siege cruisers at elevated positions to stop our advance. Attacking these cruisers from below will prove difficult. Siege cruiser ruling. Upgrade our facilities to produce tactical bombers and target the Gaussian siege cruisers. We're ready for orders. On the move. Place hull charges. Tactical bomber fabrication online. Begin constructing tactical bombers. We found another artifact. Proceeding to the Capisi. Ranger. Understood. Redirect any available units to escort the salvage crew. Recover. Sweet. Authentic. Thanks. On our way. Reporting. Move order confirmed. Capisi copies. The power source has been located at one of the wreck sites. Understood. Redirect all available forces to acquire and escort that power source back to the Capisi. Set new heading. Covered. Authentication confirmed. Power source has been returned. Great work. That extra power will give us a tactical advantage. I can't wait to take a closer look at this artifact. I can only imagine the potential applications for this technology. Rachel, we're picking up significant sensor contacts inbound at high speed. Prepare for Gaussian counterattack. Make ready. New sector designated. Hostile Back. light attack vehicle detected. We've got enemy contact. Missile launch detected. The Gaussian carrier Renza is moving towards our position. Prepare to engage. Personal log, Science Officer Rachel Sajet, Expedition Carrier Capisi. It took three years to prepare this expedition. We set out, launching into the unknown, unsure of what we would find. The discoveries we have made have exceeded all our expectations. I have noticed the kith names identified aboard these starships, the insignias. None of them are known to us. Where did these starships come from? Who are these voyagers? 
Hopefully, my analysis will yield some much needed answers. What we've discovered here is astonishing. These starships, they didn't crash. They materialized inside of solid rock. Data suggests an artificial quantum waveform intercepted these ships during interstellar transit and reassembled them here, underground. I've linked the quantum signature from these ships to the primary anomaly. I believe it's the source of the waveform and responsible for the starship wrecks scattered throughout the Great Banded Desert. Its power is beyond anything we even thought possible. We must reach the primary anomaly and unearth its secrets. Our passage through the Garaki Highlands will be through the Whispering Gallery, a narrow canyon located here. The Sakala will meet us at the mouth of the canyon, and together we will punch through to the Dreamlands on the other side. Sakala, this is the Capizzi. Do you copy? Sakala receiving. Two Galsian carriers are blocking our advance. They appear to be an elite battle group of the Kahad Sajuk. We require your immediate assistance. Roger that. We're closing on your position now. Prepare for allied contacts. PC out. The Sakawa is currently positioned here. Ready all combat groups to support allied fleet. Watch for friendlies. Capizzi, we're under fire. Requesting support. Salvager ready. Advance to mark CUs. Galsian railguns are tearing through our armored forces. Gunship set for launch. Strike, Strike crash. Destroy. Alert. Alert. Take on our carrier. Body. The Galsian are pummeling the Sakala with long-range missile barrages. Upgrade the Capisi's cruise missile silos now. Support ready. Hostile. The Galsian carriers are barraging us with heavy ordnance. For eyes on to it, we have sustained multiple hull fractures. Alert. Hot copy that, Sakala. Hold on. We're set for launch. Cruise missile silos online. Cruise missiles will decimate clustered enemy forces and static defenses at extreme range. Lost. Our bomber is taking fire. Alert. Hostile on battle tower is down. down. Stand by for launch authentication sequence. Target set. Launch. Missiles are smashing the Sakala's armored plating. Friendly taking hostile. We must push the Galsian forces away from our Sedim allies. Allied crab down. Sector designated. Move out. Galsian bombers detected. They're targeting the Capisi. Down. Be advised. Allied crab down. Alert. Allied carrier taking hostile fire. Be advised. The terrain in this canyon will prove challenging for short-range units. Alert. Hostile. We can use the terrain to our advantage by utilizing artillery cruisers. Upgrade fabrication facilities to begin producing artillery cruisers. Orders. Capisi, be advised. We are deploying a group of armored assault vehicles. Roger that, Sakala. Salvage are up. Time's a-wasting. 
Captain Roman Sajet, Expedition Carrier Capisi. The Sedim, a loathsome kith if ever there was one, arrogant, self-righteous. Mashad, the Sakala captain, seems to have an agenda all of his own. He knows more than he's willing to share, I'm sure of it. Unfortunately, it's a tenet of war that you can't always choose your allies. How true. Truth is, we have no choice but to rely on one another. The Galsian keep throwing wave after wave at us, escalating their attacks, unafraid to sacrifice their forces to hold us at bay. Thankfully, the commanders at Tyr have confirmed our resupply. Without it, we will not be able to complete our expedition. We have been compromised. With the fall of Epsilon Base, Galsian intelligence acquired the satellite data and coordinates of our expedition's destination. They believe that whatever lies at the center of the Dreamlands, our target, is Kartoba, the birthplace of our existence on Karak, and the key to their ascension. That's not all. Having decrypted the Gaussian base data, I found a message from my brother embedded in the code. Rachel, if you find this, you know I've been taken prisoner by the Gaussian forces. One of the artifacts they've unearthed is the trigger to a weapon of vast destructive power. I do not yet understand what they possess, but I do. And I have a plan. I know you're coming. Be ready. The Kahad Sajuk's fleet is making for the primary anomaly. With no other choice but to resupply, we need to rendezvous with the Coalition landers inbound from Tyr. Surrounded by desert, the only place they can set down is the Kashar Plateau, located here. Coordinates locked in.
Tigers, both Sujet and Sedim, are currently inbound, which means we need to secure that plateau. There are multiple access points. All units prepare to engage the enemy and take the high ground. Send. Receiving. Standing by. The Sakala have engaged Gaussian forces, delaying their arrival. Conducting sweep. Capici copies. Turret ahead. We need to avoid its line of fire. Call it Intel, with the data from the Gaussian base decrypted, we have gained access to new research on artifact technology and how our enemy is using it. Excellent. Thank you, Rachel. New upgrades to the Capisi's fabrication systems are now available. Rangecraft destroyed. Recommend commencing upgrades now. Crews are ready. Main the Gaussian are dug in behind heavy turret emplacements. In order to punch through, we require a heavily armored cruiser. Strike craft in making upgrade the Capisi's fabrication facilities to produce battle cruisers. Op ready. Green line confirmed. Intelligence officer Nathan Sajet, expedition carrier Capisi. Back home, the tide of war is starting to turn. 
our men and women are fighting door to door, reclaiming entire neighborhoods as they push back these Gaussian invaders. But here, the Kahad Sajuk's fleet is approaching our expedition's target as we are forced to sit and wait on landers inbound from Tyr. We are so close, yet with every hour we fall further behind our enemy. The future of our expedition depends on those flight crews. Roach, you crazy SOB. You're the best lander pilot I've ever known. If anyone can do this, it's you. You better not have forgotten that bottle I asked for. As we speak, satellite data has identified the Kahad Sajuk's fleet approaching the site of the primary anomaly. Oh my god. It's some kind of orbital weapons platform. The weapon issued a recognition code at the surface. An ID transponder returned the signal. The return signal originated here. That's it. That's what Jacob was talking about. I need to go investigate the source of that signal. It's risky, but you're right, Rachel. Take a combat escort and secure the transponder. Gaussian reinforcements are closing on our position fast, but we should be able to hold them off long enough to resupply. We will then rendezvous at your location. Roger that. Capisi, this is Lander 05 Bravo. Do you copy? Copy 05, go ahead. We are inbound on your marker. Emergency fuel critical. We are racing the gauge and will only have one chance before our tanks run dry. defend the landing zone until our transports arrive. We anticipate Gaussian assaults will come at us through these approaches here. Turrets and mines will prove effective at these choke points. What do you mean? We've had salvage teams reclaim the wreckage of several Gaussian heavy turrets. The turrets have been positioned at defensive locations on the plateau, but their armor is damaged. Repair those turrets. We'll need all the firepower we can get. Structure units identified. Gaussian forces are approaching our contact range. Hold the high ground at all costs. Carrier copies. Get her moving. Ready for assignment. Alert. A turret post just went down. Sensor's post is under fire. Alert. Sensor post lost. Salvage has been engaged. Alert, support taking hostile strike fire. Strike approach vector dialed in. Attack vector dialed in. Hostile in strike craft down. Contact, enemy armor are Bearing designated. Identified our suicidal scanner. We got a real gun under fire. Enemy armor disabled. Alert, real gun down. Attention, armored vehicle lost. Strike fighter approach vector dialed in. Attack core Hostile set. Hostile interceptor down. Enemy railgun firing on friendly. Artillery crews are under attack. Launch Units armor. respond. Reading. Strike fighter coordinates dialed in. Support crews are now operational. Engines on. Railgun operational. Support crews are under attack. Immediate fire support on the... The Sakala is in contact range. Stop fire. APC, this is Sadim Lander 29 Echo requesting clearance to land. Copy 29. You are clear to land. Understood. The Sakala has arrived. Looks like they coordinated their arrival.
The Gaussian are deploying anti-air forces here. Eliminate them in order to clear the landing zone. Gaussian aircraft on approach. Online. New heading, adjust. PC, go ahead. Enemy airstrike inbound. Hostile detected. Visual unconfirmed. One of our turrets is taking fire. Hostile interceptor down. Location marked. Enemy light attack vehicle marked on approach. Firm visual. Enemy real gun firing on friendly. Alert. Friendly taking hostile fire. Alert. Strike fighter destroyed. Hostile strike craft down. Alert. 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 Allied Alert. carrier destroyed. The Gaussian anti-air squad destroyed. Idiot fire Breaking. support on that position. Enemy real gun firing on friendly. Acknowledge. Enemy armor disabled. Operations update. Our youth in the region have been drained. Alert. Assault cruiser destroyed. Engage. Hostile light attack vehicle visually authenticated. Both Gaussian AA squads have been neutralized. New sector designated. Move out. Contact. Enemy armor. Bearing designated. Landers requesting clearance. We're coming in hot. Hostile strike craft down. The Sakala is broadcasting on an open channel. To our coalition brothers and sisters. You have inflicted great devastation upon the Gaussian scum. For that, we applaud your bravery. We will not forget your sacrifice. But our time of ascension is at hand. Only the Sedim and our Kith Sa are of divine origin. Only we can claim the bounty that lies at the heart of this desert. The first city and its secrets belong to us and us alone. Personal log, Captain Roman Sajet, Expedition Carrier Capisi. My instincts were right, the Sedim have betrayed us. They say self-righteousness inevitably leads to treachery, that it's an affliction of the weak-minded. I agree. Mashad will pay for what he has done, and I'm going to enjoy every second of it. Thankfully, we're able to retrieve supplies from one of the landers, allowing us to carry on. But Rachel is out there now alone. I won't let her become another victim of this treachery. Rachel, what is your status? Intel. The ID transponder signal originated from a wreck. A military capital ship that seems to be named Tidan. The Tidan deployed the orbital weapon, then suffered the same fate as the other wrecks crashing to the surface before the weapon could be enabled. Escaping the Gaussian base, Jacob crossed the wastelands and located the Titan, coupled with the transponder hidden aboard this ship. He used the trigger to arm the weapon, but without adequate food, water, or protection, he died here, alone. We're coming for you, Rachel. Hold out until we get there. Understood intel. Science team standing by.
Intel, I've recovered the transponder and trigger artifact from the Titan wreck. My scan of the area has identified an advanced cooling system in one of the nearby wreck sites. Roger that. Salvaging that artifact is now our main priority. Ready Alert. Set. Carrier hull at 75% integrity. Standing by. Reading you. Ready. We read you. Air launch detected from the Sakala. Advance. We demand the object that your science officer has seized. Relinquish it, and you may continue to live on this planet Warning. after our ascension. Read. Close this channel until further notice. The only sound I want to hear from the Sakala is our hull exploding. Attention. Warning. Carrier hull passing 75%. Alert all units. The Sakala is preparing to launch a cruise missile. Copy. Coordinate set. Roll out. Attention. Our cruisers have arrived and are awaiting orders. Heat. Adjust. Cruiser ready. Copy. On our way. Salvager ready. Salvage Damage up. assessment Damage in. Reason. Carrier has suffered damage. Coolant artifact extracted. Now let's get it on board the Capici. CU field expended. Taking effective fire. Warning. Carrier remains in overheat. Alert. Support trap has been engaged. We've got a salvager under fire. Be advised. System heat levels are stabilizing. UPC gone. Coolant technology received. Engineering reports installation in progress. We can now focus on the Sedim. They cannot be allowed to acquire the Tidan transponder. Destroy the Sakala. Hostile what? strike craft Crew down. Ready. Armored vehicle what? has been destroyed. Receiving five by five.
Personal log, operations officer Clea Soban. Expedition carrier Capisi. Jacob Sajet was alive this whole time. My god. A prisoner of the Galsian for four years. And he stopped them from reaching the Kartoba site. He made the ultimate sacrifice for his people. Now, as we prepare to honor him, we also ready for battle. To finish what we started. I have no idea what the future holds. Or if I'll be around to see it. But here, now, I am proud to be among these Sajet. To be counted as one of them. Asoban, it has been an honor to serve with them all. Thanks to the sacrifice of Rachel's brother, we finally hold the key to defeating the Gaussian once and for all. The Titan orbital weapon is operational and under our control. Rachel is making final preparations to ensure the fleet's safety as we secure the Kartoba site. Power and discharge protocols in the green, targeting and alignment data is suboptimal. We will require a ground-based scanner network to resolve firing accuracy or nobody will be safe out there. The Kartoba site is located here. The Galsian fleet is holding their position outside the targeting perimeter. When they realize we have safely entered the site, they will advance and surround us. We will not have much time. Rachel, stand by to deploy. Roger that. and her team into the Kartoba wreck immediately. Time is of the essence. Expect Gelsian forces to arrive shortly. so I can build a targeting matrix. I can direct the beam once the network is in place. To establish the targeting matrix, deploy scanners at these locations. Salvage array ready. PDA active. Reading you, command. Destination set. Go us out. PC, go ahead. Unidentified hostile incoming. Authenticate. Scanner deployed. Receiving the data now. We need two more scanners to complete the matrix. Bomber operational. Scanner being received. Incorporating data now. One more scanner to go. Scanner network in place. 
Great. Keep the network operational while I perform the scan. class 
a Gaussian ship before. Enemy armor disabled. It appears to be some kind of supercarrier, a Gaussian flagship. Second fire. The Gaussian Sai is aboard. Defeat it at all costs. Your copies. Move out. Enemy railgun eliminated. Crew ready. Support crews are under attack. Immediate fire support on that position. This is Alert. Case. Support traps have been engaged. Alert. Battle cruiser is taking fire. Position marked. We're ready for orders. I've never seen anything like it. We must engage with extreme caution. The Gaussian flagship has long-range missile strike capability. Make ready. Battle cruiser is facing resistance. Position marked. We read you. Alert, our missile battery laws are up. Time to waste them. For cruise missile launch coordinates. Target launch. Fire. Battery online. Missile battery operational. Orbital platform ready. Firing. The flagship has suffered significant damage. New heading set. We've got a salvager under fire. Gaussian air units inbound. Alert. Missile battery lost. Fire. Contact. Enemy armor. Bearing designated. Alert. Rachel is under fire. Strike fighter coordinates dialed in. Attack vector dialed in. We're in the pipe. Spawn. Send message. Hostile interceptor down. Armored vehicle is taking fire. Alert. Gunship down. The truth of our origins is only now being revealed. Descendants of the great derelicts of Karak. We are all one. We are all Kushan. My brother said, salvation lay in the desert. It's too early to know for sure if he was right. But one thing is certain. This is not the end. But rather, a new beginning for us all.